Hi guys, it's Jill and welcome back to the Jet Active Theory YouTube channel. Long time no see. I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time, but it is so highly requested that I talk about my breaches. So that's what we're gonna do. But before I get into that, I do wanna let you guys know that I have a podcast called Jet Rail Podcast where I talk about horse training and my life and my views on the industry and all things of that nature. You can listen to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, everywhere you can listen to podcasts. Beyond that, I do wanna tell you guys that I have a Patreon as well that is very new. I will do monthly live Q&A I offer training advice, lots of other special perks. So be sure to check that out. And if you can support us, please do. I really appreciate it. And it means a lot to me because I get a little notification with your name and all that good stuff. And it makes me very, very happy. And I get to interact with you one-on-one -on -one and answer all of your questions and helpfully help you with your horses. So without further ado, let's talk about breaches. I do want to say first, I don't know why I keep saying I do want to say, but I, I do want to say first that this is not intended to brag about the breaches that I have or anything like that. Most of them I actually got on sale on Tech of the Day com or I got for free for doing brand deals and stuff of that nature and I'm very fortunate to do so and be able to have so many things to ride in from great brands so you guys keep asking for this so I am going to give it to you I have sectioned off the types of breaches that I'm going to be showing you guys I want to start with winter breaches and then my show breaches then I want to do legging type and then the fancy type so yeah let's get into it Firstly, I have my two pairs of winter breeches, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop these bad boys on. Ooh, I love these breeches so much. They are so comfy, flattering. They make me look like I actually have like a little bit of a hip. You can see on the pockets here that they have the American Equus. I think that is a super cool detail on the butt. They've got the sticky butt, so that helps grip the saddle. And then here at the bottom, they have the sock-like material, and then they've got fleece on the inside to keep you warm and help cut down on like wind flow through your pants. So you don't, no freeze, you know? Okay, next pair. So I don't have too many pairs of winter breeches. This is only number two and the last. And these are by Noble Outfitters. They are also fleece line. They've got the zipper pocket, Noble snappies, and their signature little extra belt loop. They do not have anything on the butt, but they've got some horseshoe knee grips. They also have the sock bottom. I like them. They're a little bit low rise and they kind of like want to accordion back into themselves. Always have to wear a belt with them. <laughs> now we're going to get into show breeches. So these are my least favorite pair of show breeches because they are so low rise and I don't have junk in the trunk to hold them up and it, I hate walking around doing that the whole time and then it gives you a front wedgie when you pull them up to the right height. They're just not my favorite breeches in the world. And also pockets are really difficult to deal with because they never lay flat. I actually have no idea what brand these are. It says yourpassion.eu. So I have no idea. I actually got these breeches breeches from my boss. So that makes three pairs of breeches that I have not purchased thus far. They don't fit me super great, but they've got this nice like leather feel. So you grip the saddle a little better. They're nice to ride in. Also one of my least favorite features in breeches are these. I hate that. It never sits right in your boot and always gets crinkled. It drives me insane. And if it's tight, then it cuts off your circulation. It's just I don't like it, okay? Let's change into a better pair of breeches, okay? <sighs> so these breeches are arguably right up with those other ones. I forgot <laughs> how much I hate these breeches. <laughs> They're Treadstep brand. I hate that you can like see the pockets. They also do the weird crotch thing. They sit too low. They don't cover, cover the under belly button little pooch that I'm insecure about. <laughs> um, and they have a little bit of a full seat. They also have this weird They got very dirty very easily. You can also see those little orange marks are blood stains. <laughs> These breeches used to rub me so bad because they have so many seams. I don't know why, I just used to get rubbed so bad and it would rub me down my shin and just these breeches were the worst. <laughs> I don't know, they're just really uncomfy and I don't like them. But they do, okay, cool, that's been undone the whole time. You could've told me. They do have this extra button thing, which I do like that on breeches, but I'm gonna take these off and put these bad boys on. So I like these breeches much better. They're Romf brand and the pockets are a good size, nice high rise to them. And I love wearing big, thick belts. So I really like extra large little belt loops. Sorry, I'm like totally out of breath. Uh, we're on one, two, three, four, five. Breeches number five out of 22. So uh, yeah, this makes the second pair of breeches. I think I bought these at a show because my other ones were really dirty. So they're a little bit too big and they're a little bit loose in the crotch, but it's kind of nice for riding in because you're not like 
you know, being squeezed to death in some sensitive regions. But they are full seat and they're great, which is the reason that they are not my number one because it just doesn't look very good in pictures when you're like jumping and it's just gray. And my coat is burgundy, so it doesn't match and it throws off the whole aesthetic. <laughs> now I'm going to put on my last pair of show breeches. I need another transition idea. These are my final pair of show breeches. They are super comfy because they have a full seat that doesn't have a super thick full seat, so they're really nice for summer breeches. They've just got this little sticky material here. There's no seam there, which is fantastic for me. And before you yell at me for gripping with my knee, I don't. I don't know how it happens. I think it's because I'm gripping with my calf and it like pulls the pant against it. I don't know, but that used to happen all the time. It was so frustrating. My trainer yelled at me and she was like, take your knee off the horse. I was like, dude, it's not on the horse. I don't like it. <laughs> These are the bigger. <laughs> be Gertivo. The B Vertigo breeches. Originally from Whores, but now it's like Equivana, Equinavia, something like that. I don't know. I haven't switched over from Whores, but I can see why they made the name change. Anyway, so these are my favorite show breeches. They look good in pictures because they don't have the gray on the butt, though they did change color a little bit. But that's usually hidden by the saddle, except for right there. I don't know how I do these things, but that's why I have four pairs of white breeches because I can't seem to keep them clean. Now I'm gonna start on the leggings. Ooh, we're not gonna judge me for the tender sound, okay? It's really hard to meet people when you live alone on a horse farm, okay? No judgment, no judgment. I feel like you're still judging me. So <laughs> these breeches, I believe, I probably could have gone up a size. They were given to me by Stableware, which is the brand. The people are so nice and so sweet. I know that they've updated their collection. They've added new styles. Some of them look really awesome and really cool. And I hate to do it because I don't hate any of my breeches, <laughs> but these are my least favorite leggings just because they don't fit me super well. When I move my leg, there's an indent over the seam and uh, that hurts my feelings a lot. <laughs> they do have a pocket for your phone and I really like these, but stickies do sometimes leave like the imprint on the saddle. It goes away with cleaning, but it makes me uncomfortable. They are not full seat. They just are like squeezing all of the blood out of my legs. And the next pair is by them also, so let's get into it. Okay, so I absolutely love these breeches. I love this color and I love this design. Like I said, none of these breeches is because it's my least favorite it means that I don't like them. It's just that I like the other ones a little bit more. This one's pretty much the same reason. It's full seat and it's got this all the way up the butt. And I don't really like the sticky. I don't like that. <laughs> Here they've got this little stripe across the knee, which I think is really cool. They also have a foam pocket. Personally, I find that that is a little bit low. It goes all the way down to the stripe, <laughs> and uh, it's not my favorite thing in the world. I like for my phone to either be up here or I stick it in the front right there, and I'd like fold my shirt so it's like a little pocket. It has a stable wear logo. I do not like that these belt loops are so small, because like I said, I personally like to wear big belts, but this is a super cool color, and I love this design. So I really do like these, so that's those. And now we're in these. These are Noble Outfitters. These are again, leggings, phone pocket here, which is a better height for me. They are full seat and they've got like horseshoe sticky. I've also got the sock footing. So out of breath, I'm so hot. They've got nice big belt loops. Noble is really good about that. Love it. So yes, yes, yes. So that makes, so far all of the legging breeches I did not pay for. <laughs> we're at six I didn't pay for and three I did. You gotta work the system, you know? What a transition, how about I do this one? Okay, so now we're in these. Noble again. These I rank a little bit higher because they are more comfy to me and a little bit more breathable. They have the pocket. They have the off-color knee patch, which I think is cool. And I really like this like slate blue. Is that what you call this? I don't know. <laughs> but they're not full seat. Got the sock foot. Got the belt loop. I love these. And that's why I rank them number four both ways. We have three previous breeches and three more to go in the legging category. These were also <laughs> given to me to advertise for Noble. Three more and I'm so out of transition ideas. We're gonna do this one. Woo! Okay, we're in these now. Um, quite dizzy and out of breath. <laughs> these are horse brand, which is no longer in existence. They're green. That's the only reason I'm ranking them higher than the other ones. They're pretty comfy, but they feel more like legging legging, like cotton leggings. They are not super breathable, but I really do like these colors. So that's why I'm ranking them. They've also got this really high, large waistband. Then they have this little, oh my God. Then they have this little grippy right here, the little Z's on it, and I like them. They go all the way up to your butt. Pretty nice. Finger guns. 
But these I call old reliable. These are the pair of breeches that I've probably had for the longest. They're Iridian or I ride on. I don't know how to say it. They're black. They've just got the knee patch. Low rise, which is not my favorite, but I've had these breeches since probably seventh or eighth grade and I'm in a graduate program now. So that's like nine years I've had these breeches and they've held up. They have a little bit of elastic down here that is held up as well. I've had them forever and I absolutely adore these breeches. Okay, so these breeches are from Holland Cooper Co. So I forgot to mention the last two pairs I actually did purchase myself. These breeches, however, I did get for free. Well, free is a strong word because I had to advertise, which is valuable and costs money, so we traded for them. And I love these leggings. They're not the most comfortable in the world, but they do like cool when you move. The Holland Cooper Co. logo right there. My favorite part about them is this. It says Holland Cooper down leg. Whoa. Yeah. Not very flexible, I can't hold that. I'll try again. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, so see, nice, we like it. I also got this little like button, a pant brooch. They've got a phone pocket, again, it's like an awkward, I don't know why they don't put it like here. Why does it have to be like on the front of my thigh? No. I'm so hot, I'm so sorry. H logo right there, it's kind of the sticky has worn off. I don't know, <laughs> you're probably like, those are very good breeches. And I really just like that thing, so. <laughs> you know what, it's been a minute since I've ridden and worn riding pants, so forgive me, okay. <laughs> And now we move on. Now we do the fancy ones, which are thick and hot, and I am sweating in my house. My AC is all the way on. The fan up there is all the way on also. So hot, I'm dying. There's only nine left. And so it begins. Another pair of breeches that I purchased. These are full seat. Not exactly the most flattering, because they stop like pretty I wish they came up a little bit higher. Made my butt look a little less like it is but these are fits i got them on tack of the day all of my fits i'm pretty sure i either bought from somebody or got from tack of the day so i did not pay full price but these are the cheaper version they are still full seat the only complaint that i've always had about these is you go to move your leg up and you get stopped because it hangs on your butt so you have to like pull them up and then move but i do like these breeches the reason they are at the bottom of my list is because of the color kind of like an olive green but brown and it's just not a very cute color and i don't like the butt I'm really out of transition ideas. Whoopah! Okay, so these breeches, I have to take a little bit of a serious moment before I proceed. I really debated including them in this video because there has been some recent things that have come out about this brand and I want to state that this is my opinion. I've got some problems with them. First, the reason that they rank higher than those is because of this design. I think they're really cool. They're good looking. They've got um, like a little snake skin patch there. They're supposed to be kind of the luxury breeches and uh, the sizing is arguably non-inclusive and I'd say I'm a relatively average size equestrian 5'8 like 130 pounds and my size in these breeches are really tight and I did actually size up and they're still so tight they're designed for really small really skinny people and that is frustrating for other people in our industry I just kind of have an issue with that because it's leaving out other body types and beyond that and I'm sure this was a little bit of a controversial statement I feel like it needs to be said because the only way we can provoke change is by starting a conversation. I'm sure that other brands are guilty, but this is the one that's been really called out for it. It's really non-inclusive. There is lack of diversity in advertisement. It's always advertised in like luxury, high ponytail, slick back, fancy full on makeup, high heels, and they're all white girls. <laughs> really been feeling and noticing how wildly non-represented other people and other equestrians are. It's not just people who look like me. And I can't imagine how that must feel to be so underrepresented and just be like, this is what an equestrian is. Look, these are all of the advertisements. You don't fit this. And that, I want to handle it tactfully and not hate on any one brand because I'm sure most of them are guilty because the equestrian world is very whitewashed. You market to your majority audience, but it is really unfortunate that our sporting industry feels really non-inclusive when there are so many equestrians who do come from different backgrounds and are of different races. And I would really like to see some of my favorite brands really extend beyond that and reach out to models and have different advertising for different body types, different skin color, different ethnicity, because we are all equestrians. We all share the love of horses and just because you don't look like 90% of the equestrian world doesn't mean you don't deserve representation. And beyond that, if there was more representation, we would probably have more BIPOC people riding horses because, you know, if you don't feel welcome, it's kind of hard to like get out there and be a part of it. I do think it is really important and I think that things will not change unless we do talk about it. So again, not trying to be political, don't care about that. It is a humanitarian issue and something that really needs to change in our industry. Every equestrian deserves to feel like they belong no matter what they look like 
bike. So let's work on changing that. Let's bring more people in. We want to be kind to the horses and show them our compassion and empathy. And that should go the same direction for humans. So think about that. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to change out of these breeches and put on a different pair. These are my Fitz breeches. I think I got these from somebody secondhand. And the reason that they're pretty low on my list here is because this is kind of just falling apart. I've never been a huge fan of beige traditional breeches color breeches. But as far as fit goes, I love these breeches. They're very comfortable. I just kind of worry about the leather since it's not smooth anymore messing up my saddle. But I guess I could try oiling it. I just feel kind of weird putting like leather conditioner on my pants. I'm so out of breath and I'm so hot, hot. Number 16, we're so close. Whew, on to the next one. We're in another pair of Godot breeches. Apparently all the ones that I have from them are this like lavender purple color. Again, really, really tight. I do like that they've got the big belt loops. The pockets, I can barely get my hand into them and they only go that far. One of the issues, especially with the other pair from them, is that the pockets do that a lot and that drives me insane. But yeah, it's just, I feel like I have to like suck in the whole time I wear them. But I do like the knee patch and the piping and design, but I'm sure there are good people behind it. But it's not something that I really want to continue to support until I see a little bit more representation. I do that with most things. If I don't agree with the ethics or the practices of a brand, then I am just not going to support them. Maybe that will help them realize what's important to their consumers and then take that step and change and offer more representation so that all equestrians feel like they are important and they are a part of this community. So soapbox stepping off. <laughs> These are the same breeches as that olivey color one that I had on earlier, but I like the navy better. I do have a problem with all fits breeches. Crawling up your coochie, it's not very fun. I didn't block it. They are comfortable to ride in. I enjoy it, but every time I get off, I have to like, okay, nobody needs to see every detail of anatomy, you know? <laughs> The end. These are another pair of fits. These are actually my first pair that I ever got of fits. And if you guys watch my last breeches collection video, I think I talked about how much I hated them. And then maybe I talked about how that switched, but for some reason they used to rub me so bad on my knee. These are a little bit big. I didn't know what size I needed when I bought them. And so these are mediums. That makes them really comfortable. They're very roomy and they come up really high, which I like. They have like a little zipper pocket. It's not very big. They also have like a vent right there. Fitz breeches, I think retail normally around like $300 because they have leather on them and they've got this like monkey butt thing going. I think that is a little bit astronomical but I like them because they're so comfortable and you really don't move around on the saddle that much. I have not paid full price for a single pair of Fitz breeches of which I have five I think but I got them all off tackoftheday.com for like half off because nobody wants to pay for that. The only problem I have with this size is like it kind of folds down there because it's a little bit too big but the problem is when I have the one that does fit it's like trying to in that's not child appropriate. It, I it just is uncomfy around these parts, okay? And also, that's not fantastic to walk around in, so. They just look better when you're on the horse, not off. Now we're gonna do our last three pair. Okay, so these breeches, the same camel toe. And the only reason I put these breeches so high is because I think they look cool, but they are wildly uncomfortable and so tight. I normally wear like a 26 and these are 28. Still like my legs, the life is being squeezed out of them. The main reason I like them is because of this V. It makes me look like I got a top half of a booty, you know, because I don't. It just goes back to butt. They also have this cool little chevroni design, the sock at the bottom, and I like the piping. I forgot to mention, these breeches are also wildly extensive, 190 to 220 or something like that. The only reason I have three pairs of them is because I advertised them for like a year. I quit working with them before I became aware of the representation problem because kind of just like weren't seeing eye to eye on what my promotion was worth and I felt like they were asking a lot for not a lot in return. I also didn't get to pick any of the breeches I want which is why I have three pairs of purple breeches but they are really cool breeches. Um, if that's all that matters to you then um, cool. And like I said, I had kind of an issue whether or not to include them in this video, but not trying to bash the brand. I'm sure other brands are guilty. This is just the one that I'm aware of right now and I'm using as a jumping off point. More diversity and representation in our support. Also, Jesus, make them a little bit stretchier. Holy, I'm, how do you, there, are my mental walk in heels. They're so tight. Riding in them sucks. And every time I take these breeches off, I have the piping indented into my skin. They only score this high because they're pretty, <laughs> not because they're comfortable or fit well, or I'm necessarily the biggest fan of the brand. Just my opinion on that.
I also want to say while I'm taking these off because I was thinking about it. You know, like I said, I'm not trying to hate on the brand or anything. I think that there is massive room for improvement and I didn't want to talk about it because I was worried about causing a rift or upsetting people. But at the same time, it's, it's important to me. I stand for everyone and I want there to be some inclusivity in our sport instead of it being so elitist and you have to be the richest and the best. You have to look a certain way. Stuff like that. I'm just tired of that attitude and I don't think I should be afraid to say that because if you don't agree, frankly, bye. Um, I mean, I, I'm going into the mental health profession and it's really opened my eyes to how important it is to be an advocate for voices that are otherwise marginalized. So yeah, it's important to me. If you don't agree, that's cool. Maybe you can think about it a little bit. And if you do agree, go us. We got this. Anyway, I just wanted to say that it's not about the brand. It is about the act that is very common and it's hard to blame one brand when all of them are really guilty of doing it. I think that we need to make some changes and lead the way so that every brand is inclusive and supports every equestrian, so thanks. Okay, so by far my highest rise pair of breeches. This is the brand Hardy Etc. Hardy ETC. These are my second favorite pair of breeches, second to last, and then this video is done. I really enjoy these breeches because they're high rise. I feel like everything's locked and loaded. They're comfortable to ride in, but again, I have to pull the pants up to lift the knee any higher. They've got a really cool design on the knee. They've also got the sock footing. They've got really cute rhinestones on the butt. This nice logo back here, it says Hardy ETC. And they feel like they're made of like paper. They're very tight and they're really hard to get up high enough. I don't know why, made for little booty people. And even though I am one, it's very hard for me to get them pulled all the way up. One final pair of breeches left. Are you ready? Okay. That was lame, sorry. These are my favorite pair of breeches. Fits, they're the full seat, but they're the navy ones. These are my go-to pair of breeches. I always wear these bad boys every single time. I'm gonna ride like randomly. These are the ones I grab. I absolutely love these breeches. They've got the venting and the full seat, the wide belt loops, the Fits logo, monkey butt. Love them. Uh, with that said, those are all my favorite breeches. I'm gonna put on shorts because I'm sweating to death and then we're gonna wrap up this video. <sighs> okay guys, I am hot and I am sweaty. <laughs> but that is it, I believe that is 22 pairs of breeches that we have covered and yeah, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite breeches brand are, which of mine was your favorite. Let me know if you are aware of any inclusive breeches brands. I would love to be able to support those. I do want to be an advocate and a proponent of change because this is something that is really important in our industry and I, I just, I can't even imagine how how it would feel to be so underrepresented and feeling like you're not a part of something when you love it and you just want to enjoy horses. You know, I can pick any color of breeches that I want, any brand, any kind. I'm built, I think, like an average equestrian. Most equestrians are around my height and weight, if not less and shorter, but I couldn't imagine how it must feel to not have your size in the breeches brand that everybody's talking about and your size just isn't there. Like that just, it just, it hurts my heart for our industry and for fellow equestrians. We all just love horses and we want to be a part of the same thing and spread that love. And I don't think anybody should be excluded based on their weight or their color. It's absurd and it needs to change because it is an issue. For a long time, I have also turned a blind eye to it and it's, I, I'm really disappointed that I've been a part of that. It's not okay and it needs to, it needs to change. I'm nervous to post and make this video because I'm worried that it's gonna get some backlash, but at the same time I have to be like, like, no, it's okay. You're speaking out for what you believe in, and I hope that you guys can hear that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to check out the podcast and the Patreon, and be sure to subscribe so that you know when I post new videos. They're kind of sporadic right now, but lately I have been feeling like doing them, and I've been editing like a mad woman, so I'm gonna have a lot of new videos out soon, I think, I hope, maybe. So be sure to subscribe, check out the channel, follow me on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter, Jet Equithery, on all of those platforms. With that said, thank you guys. Be safe, be kind, and have a good one. Oh dear, oh dear, forgot to turn it on.